Congratulations on the purchase of your new Ford Flex. Your new crossover has it all. Limo-like legroom, smart technology, standout design, advanced safety features, and, well, the capability to save you from ever just settling again. We've designed an amazing road machine for you, and we want to make sure you get the most out of your new driving experience. So sit back and discover everything your new Ford Flex has to offer. We think you're going to be very pleased with the decision you've made. Now, this DVD is not intended to take the place of your owner's guide. Your Flex may not be equipped with all the features we talk about on this DVD. This DVD is designed for you to conveniently skip over the features that do not apply to your vehicle. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. Shall we get started? Get ready for an intelligent conversation with your car. Introducing Sync, powered by Microsoft. It's a better, more sensible way to remain connected to your world while you're behind the wheel of your new vehicle. Sync offers you voice-activated calling and voice-activated music selection while allowing you to maintain your focus on the road. With Sync, your vehicle has 911 assist. This will help you in contacting emergency services through a paired and connected Bluetooth-enabled cellular phone. The Vehicle Health Report allows you to check the overall health of your vehicle in the form of a diagnostic report card. Refer to your SYNC supplement for complete information on this feature. So let's get you started. To use SYNC's many features, you must have a cellular phone equipped with Bluetooth wireless technology, a USB device, or a compatible digital media player with a USB cable. Be sure to visit www.SyncMyRide.com for complete details on cell phone capabilities. If your new vehicle is equipped with a navigation system, refer to the navigation section of this DVD for SYNC instructions. Refer to your SYNC supplement for complete details and important safety information. Let's hook up or pair your cell phone with your audio system for the first time. Now, make sure that the vehicle ignition and radio are on, and that your vehicle is in park. Press the phone icon button to enter the phone menu. Sync will try to connect, and the radio will indicate that no phone is paired. Press OK, and Add Devices will appear in the radio display. Press OK again to enter the Add Devices menu. When Find Sync appears in the radio display, press OK again. Follow the instructions in your cellular phone's user guide to put your phone in Bluetooth discovery mode. A six-digit PIN number will appear in the radio display. When prompted on your phone's display, enter the PIN. At that point, the radio display should read connected, and your phone should be successfully paired. Now you're ready to make and receive hands-free calls. Making a hands-free phone call using Sync is easy. Press the voice icon button, and when prompted, say call and the name of someone in your phone book, like call Kate, or say dial, and then the desired number. It's as easy as that. To answer incoming calls, simply press the phone button. To end a call, press and hold the phone button. Your voice-activated hands-free calling system means you'll never have to put life on hold again. Please refer to your SYNC supplement for complete details on turn-by-turn -turn navigation, 911 assist, vehicle health report, and other important safety information. Sync can shift your digital music into overdrive with voice-activated access to songs on your digital media player. So let's get it connected to Sync so you can rock in your new vehicle while you roll. First, make sure that the vehicle ignition and radio are on. Now, plug the device into the USB port located in the front console. If your digital media player has an on-off switch, make sure it's in the on position. Press the left side of the voice button and when prompted say USB. Simply say the word play first and you can listen to your music by artist, album, song, or even genre. USB, please say a command. Play artist wheat. Playing artist wheat. And get this, Sync can automatically charge your digital media player while it's plugged into the USB port. That's pretty cool. Press the left side of the voice button and say help for more options.
Please refer to your sink supplement for complete details and important safety information. Let's talk about the audio system in your new vehicle. Now, we're pretty sure you know how to handle the radio, but let's just quickly go over some features. On-off, volume, AM-FM, and tuning are all pretty basic. Your seek button will find the next or last strong radio signal available. And your scan button will give you a brief sampling of all strong radio stations. It's a nice feature when you're out on the road. You can preset up to 30 radio stations, 10 in AM, 10 in FM1, and 10 more in FM2. Just tune to the station you want to preset and hold a preset button in until the sound returns and preset saved appears in the display. Your new vehicle is equipped with an auxiliary input jack located in the center front console that allows you to connect your portable music player to the in-vehicle audio system. With the radio off and the device off, attach the audio extension cable to the headphone output of your player and the other end to the auxiliary input jack. Then just turn the radio on, turn your player on, adjust the volume, and enjoy. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. In your new vehicle, you'll always arrive in style. However, you'll also want to arrive on time, so let's set your clock. To set your clock, press the clock button located on the face of your audio system. The radio display will read set time. Use the memory preset numbers 0 through 9 to enter the time, hours and minutes. The clock will begin from there. It's as simple as that. Your new vehicle may be equipped with Sirius Satellite Radio, which gives you access to more commercial free music, news, sports, and more than you ever imagined. A subscription is needed, so please refer to your owner's guide for the information you need to contact Sirius for all the details concerning your system and subscription. Your free subscription will get you started, but when it runs out, you'll need to contact Sirius to continue your subscription. You'll need your ESN number. You can get it and more information by pressing the Sirius button and the Preset 1 button at the same time. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. If your new vehicle is equipped with a navigation system, you're about to discover one powerful piece of technology. It will allow you not only to navigate the vehicle, it can also warn you of traffic problems and accidents. The system is also equipped with an AM-FM stereo radio and a CD-DVD player. The display screen is the primary means for operating the system through the use of its vertically tabbed menus, text screens, and menu displays. Selections are made by simply touching the desired choice on the navigation system touchscreen. Your system has a large range of features, yet it's easy to operate, and it's going to make your travel easier than ever. Just a quick note, though. In order to prevent the navigation system from distracting you while you're driving, access to certain functions is restricted when the vehicle is traveling above 5 miles per hour or 8 kilometers per hour. Now, we're not going to be covering everything your nav system is capable of right now. You can refer to your navigation supplement for complete details, but let's go through the basic navigation system so you can get going. Refer to your navigation supplement for complete details and important safety information. First, let's get familiar with the navigation system hard button controls located just below your navigation screen. Starting on the left-hand side, you'll see Menu. Press Menu to access the System Menu tabs. You'll see tabs for Display, Clock, Feedback Settings, System Settings, Valet Mode, and Voice Control. The next button on your right is your Map button. Press Map to access the navigation map. Pressing Map while the display is active and the route is active will allow you to center the map on your vehicle's current position and step through different map guidance views, like a full screen map or a list of upcoming turns and more. Moving right again, the next control is your destination or DEST button. 
press DEST to access the navigation destination entry menu. Here you can enter your destination information and set your route. We'll get deeper into this in the next section of the DVD. The control to the right of your DEST is your navigation or nav button. Press nav to access the navigation menu. Here you'll find tabs for map prefs or preferences, route prefs, and traffic prefs. Select map prefs to access map content such as street names, speed limits, time to destination, and POI or points of interest. You can even access a bird's eye view of your route with adjustable angles. Press Route Prefs to select between the shortest distance or the fastest time while navigating a route. If Sirius Travel Link is activated, it will also show you how to avoid freeways, toll roads, and more. Select Traffic Prefs to have the system color code roads according to the speed of traffic. Your navigation supplement contains complete details and information on the eye, phone, and climate controls. Refer to your navigation supplement for complete details and important safety information. Setting a route. First, make sure the vehicle ignition and the navigation system are on. To get rolling, press the destination or DEST button. Your navigation system is very smart and will allow you to pick a destination in a variety of ways. You can choose the Quick tab. Use this in an emergency, like when you have to find the nearest hospital, police station, or access to your favorite saved destinations. Your navigation supplement will show you how to save your favorite destinations. Also under Quick, you can choose Find Nearest POI or Points of Interest. In this mode, you can find a specific restaurant, gas station, ATM, airport, and much, much more. Whatever your interests are, the navigation system can get you there quickly and easily. Let's set a POI. Do you like Italian? Well, let's find the nearest Italian restaurants. You'll see the Restaurant tab. Pressing this will show you all the restaurants close to where you are. But we're looking for an Italian restaurant, so let's do this. Press the List All Categories tab. Now you'll see the Food, Drink, and Dining tab. And now press the Restaurants tab. From this menu, you can scroll down to Italian. Select Italian, and you can scroll through all the Italian restaurants close by. Select the restaurant you want. Press Set as Dest. When the map appears, it gives you a choice between the shortest route to your destination or the fastest route. Select the route you want to take. Press Start Route, and you're on your way. I hear the marinara sauce is to die for. To save a location as a favorite destination, like this restaurant, press the DEST hard button, and from the Quick tab, select an empty Favorite Destination tab, and just follow the prompts. It's quick and easy. Refer to your navigation supplement for more details. You can also choose the Standard tab. This will allow you to select a destination a number of different ways, including using a street address, freeway entrance or exit, or a specific intersection. For example, suppose you want to go to 20,300 Rotunda Drive. Select Street Address. This will bring up the keyboard where you can enter the information. Enter the necessary information in the highlighted areas first. This system uses a smart speller, which will help facilitate narrowing the options. A quick note though, make sure you use the complete address. If it's Rotunda Drive, be sure to enter it as Rotunda Drive. The same is true of street, road, avenue, circle, etc. Once all the information is entered, press Enter and your destination will appear as a point on the screen map. Now just press Set as Dest, and then Start Route and follow the instructions. You're on your way. Now say you want to make a stop along the way to your destination, say for lunch or to get gas. It's easy. Before you press Start Route, press the DEST button on your nav face again. Now select Edit Route. On the right side of the screen, under that menu, you'll see Edit Destination Waypoints. Select the Add Waypoint, and then the Find Nearest POI tab. Now you can choose your waypoint from the menus. 
and select Set as Waypoint. Now you'll see Compute Route. Press it, and you'll see your waypoint as the number one on your map. You can set as many as five. Please refer to your navigation supplement for complete details. If Serious Travel Link is activated, you can also select Edit Route to make any adjustments to your routes. Adjustments for things like detours, traffic conditions, and destination changes. You can also avoid toll roads, freeways, construction areas, and more. You can use Edit Route with the Quick Destination choices too. Pressing the I button and then the Help tab will give you basic descriptions of the navigation system buttons, as well as driving restrictions, traffic legends, and voice commands. Refer to your navigation supplement for complete details and important safety information. Now, for your listening pleasure, let's check out your navigation system's jukebox. This amazing feature allows you to play, record, and store more music than you'll ever have time to listen to. To save your music into Jukebox, insert a CD into the system. It will begin to play, and the CD DVD screen will appear. From here, select Record. Then you can choose to record individual tracks or the entire CD. Once your selection is made, just press Start Recording. The system will show you the recording progress at the bottom of the screen. After the last track is recorded, the system will save the CD in Jukebox and you can leave your CDs at home. To access your music in Jukebox, press the Media Hard button and select the Jukebox tab on the touch screen. On the screen that comes up, press Music Library. From Music Library, you can select what you want to hear by album, artist, individual tracks, playlists, or genres. Refer to your navigation supplement for complete details and important safety information. While we're here, let's set the clock. Just press Menu on the Nav System face and select the Clock tab. Simply use the plus and minus buttons at the top of the screen to set the time. Your navigation system is also equipped with an AM-FM radio and CD-DVD player audio system. To play a CD, insert a disc and it will begin to play. Use the double arrow buttons to access a previous track or the next track on your disc. For AM radio, press Radio and select the AM tab. For FM, select the FM tab. Press it again to toggle between FM1 and FM2. Pressing Seek will find you the next listenable radio station available. You can preset up to 18 radio stations, 6 in AM, 6 in FM1, and 6 in FM2. To preset a station, press and hold any of the memory preset hard buttons 1 through 6 on the navigation face or press Show Presets on the navigation screen and hold any of the soft button memory preset buttons on the navigation screen while listening to the desired station. Refer to your navigation supplement for complete details and important safety information. HD radio technology is the exciting digital evolution of analog AM-FM radio. HD radio digital broadcasts provide a better sound quality than analog broadcasts, with crystal clear audio and no static or distortion. Your system has a special receiver which allows it to receive free digital broadcasts where they're available, in addition to the analog broadcasts it already receives. That means you now have access to more radio entertainment than ever before. For complete details, please refer to your owner's guide. For more information and a guide to available stations and programming, please visit www.hdradio.com.
Your navigation system comes with a complimentary six-month subscription to Sirius Satellite Radio. Now, your free subscription will get you started, but when it runs out, you'll need to contact Sirius to continue your subscription. You'll need your ESN number. You can get it and more information by pressing the I button on the nav face and then the System Information tab. Please refer to the Navigation Supplement for the information you need to contact Sirius, by phone or online, and for complete details and important safety information concerning your system and subscription. Reach your destination faster, safer, and smarter with Sirius Travel Link. This amazing feature is included with your free introductory subscription to Sirius Satellite Radio. So now, in addition to delivering over 130 channels of the best music, sports, entertainment, and talk, Sirius offers premium data services that work in conjunction with your navigation system. Sirius Travel Link brings a wealth of useful information into your vehicle and right to your fingertips. Get there faster using Sirius Travel Link traffic information. It provides detailed traffic data right into your vehicle over Sirius's nationwide satellite radio network, including real-time information on accidents, traffic flow, and construction and road closures, as well as alternative route guidance and mapping. With Sirius Travel Link, you can also get detailed fuel price information from over 120,000 gas stations, and the stations can be sorted by distance, price, or alphabetically. You pick the station you want, and Sirius Travel Link will show you the way. All the weather information you need is at your fingertips, too. Current conditions, weather radar, detailed storm information, five-day forecasts, ski resort conditions, and more. Check on your favorite team. You can get current scores and upcoming schedules from all major sports, including the NFL, NBA, NCAA football and basketball, Major League Baseball, golf, and NASCAR. And how about this? Get detailed listings of the current top 40 movies playing nationwide, including access to movie titles, start times, ratings, run length, even theater addresses. And the theaters can be sorted by distance or alphabetically. You'll find all the information you need to contact Sirius by phone or online in your navigation supplement. Please refer to your navigation supplement for complete details and important safety information. Your vehicle's navigation system is available with Sync, powered by Microsoft. Sync is a hands-free communication and entertainment system that literally syncs up with all other multimedia systems in your vehicle. Sync delivers the convenience of voice-activated phone calls and hands-free conversations, digital media player command and control. Call Kate. Calling Kate. As well as easy-to-use voice commands. Welcome to the new world of ingenuity and passion. Technology that is both fun and functional. Welcome to Sync. To use Sync's many features, you must have a cellular phone equipped with Bluetooth wireless technology, a USB device, or a compatible digital media player with a USB cable. Be sure to visit SyncMyRide.com for complete details on cell phone capabilities. Now, let's get you synced up. Please refer to your navigation supplement for detailed voice activation instructions and important safety information. To add or pair a new phone to your navigation system with Sync, make sure your phone is in the cabin and turned on, and that your vehicle is in park. Press the Phone button. Select the Settings tab and press Add. As soon as Sync detects your Bluetooth phone, it goes to work. When prompted on your phone's display, enter the PIN provided by Sync. When the pairing is complete, pairing successful, and then whatever the device's name is and connected will appear on the screen. Then, depending on your phone's capability, you may be prompted with additional options from your phone or Sync, such as setting this phone as the favorite downloading your phone book or call history, 
It then becomes the primary phone that Sync reconnects to every time you start your vehicle. Refer to your navigation supplement for complete details and important safety information. To connect your media player to Sync, make sure your vehicle's ignition and navigation system are turned on. Plug your media player into the USB port located in the front center console and make sure your player is on. Press the Media button. Now you can select the User Device tab and then press Source until USB appears. Now press Music Library and you're ready to go. Sync can even charge your media player while it's plugged in to the USB port. Refer to your navigation supplement for complete details and important safety information. If your vehicle is equipped with navigation, some of your climate controls are located on the touchscreen. Just press the Climate Hard key on the navigation face to access the controls. Now, from the soft keys on the touchscreen, you can control driver and passenger temperature by touching the dual soft key and adjusting the up and down arrows. You can also control airflow direction, adjust fan speed, and air conditioning. It's all there at the touch of a finger. Talk about convenience. Your new vehicle is equipped with our Secure Code keyless entry system. It will allow you to unlock the driver's side door or lift gate with your personal code without ever taking the key out of your pocket. To activate, simply run your finger down the codes, enter the factory set code or your personal code, then press the 3 4 button within 5 seconds to unlock the remaining doors, including the lift gate. You can lock the vehicle back up by simply touching the 7 8 and 9 0 buttons at the same time and holding them for at least two seconds. Refer to your owner's guide to learn how to set your personal entry code and for complete details and important safety information. Your vehicle is equipped with integrated keyhead transmitters. You can lock and unlock the doors and lift gate using the controls on the transmitter. Press the unlock control once to unlock the driver's door. Pressing it twice will unlock all the doors and the lift gate. Press the lock control to lock all doors and the lift gate. With my key, you can now program a restricted driving mode on one standard key supplied with your vehicle to promote good driving habits. The remaining standard key is referred to as an administrator key or admin key. When the My Key feature is programmed, several features are modified. For example, the belt minder alert will chime continuously and the audio will be muted until the safety belt is buckled. Audible and visual low fuel warnings are issued when the distance to empty value is reached, typically 75 miles or 120 kilometers. The maximum volume of the audio system is automatically limited to 45% and My Key Volume Limited will be displayed in the radio. Vehicle speed is limited to 80 miles per hour or 130 kilometers per hour. Audible and visual warnings are issued when an attempt is made to exceed 80 miles per hour or 130 kilometers per hour. Audible and visual warnings are issued when the pre-selected vehicle speeds of 45, 55 and 65 miles per hour or 70, 90, and 105 kilometers per hour are exceeded. To program the My Key feature on one of your keys, use the message center buttons. Turn the vehicle on using the key you want designated as My Key. Press Setup until Press Reset to Create My Key appears. Press Reset until Hold Reset to Confirm My Key is displayed. Then, press and hold Reset until Mark this key as restricted and key restricted at next start is displayed. My key is successfully programmed, so make sure you label it. The message center will display My Key Active, Drive Safely, when you are driving with a My Key. 
The following features can be restricted on MyKey. Maximum speed limit 80 miles per hour or 130 kilometers per hour on or off. Speed alert chime set at 45, 55, or 65 miles per hour or 70, 90, or 105 kilometers per hour. Audio volume limit on or off and advance track on or off. To program these features, do the following. Turn the vehicle on using the admin key that has not been programmed as a My Key. Press Setup until Reset for My Key Settings appears. Press Reset. The first programmable feature, My Key Speed Limit On Off, will appear. If you do not wish to change the status of a feature that appears, press Setup to accept and move on to the next feature, or press Reset to turn a feature on or off or toggle between choices. Do the same for the next features. My key chimes off 45, 55, 65. My key volume off, on, and my key advanced track control off, on. Refer to your owner's guide for complete details, how to disable my key, and other important safety information. The warning lights and gauges located in the instrument cluster on the dashboard of your new vehicle can warn you about problems or conditions that may become serious. Many lights will illuminate when you start your engine to make sure the bulbs work. If any light stays on after starting your engine, be sure to check it out. If the service engine soon indicator illuminates and stays lit, it means the onboard diagnostic system has detected a malfunction that should be looked into as soon as possible. If the light is blinking, it means engine misfire is happening, and that could damage your vehicle. This is serious, so drive in a moderate fashion, no heavy acceleration or deceleration, and have your vehicle serviced immediately by an authorized Ford dealer. If the brake system warning light illuminates, it is an indication that you may have a low brake fluid level, or a brake system malfunction has been detected, and your authorized Ford dealer should inspect your brake system immediately. If the anti-lock brake light stays illuminated or flashes, a malfunction has been detected. Have the system serviced immediately. Normal braking will still be functional unless those lights are illuminated also. Other warning lights and gauges in your instrument cluster are pretty self-explanatory. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. The message center, located between the speedometer and the tachometer on the instrument cluster of your new vehicle, displays important vehicle information through a constant monitoring of vehicle systems. It will also notify you of potential problems with a display of warnings followed by a long indicator chime. Let's take a look at the message center controls. You'll find them conveniently located on the dashboard. Press the reset button to select and reset functions shown in the info menu and the setup menu. The info menu controls the display from the odometer, the trip odometers A or B, your average fuel economy, your average speed, and trip drive time A or B. It will also display distance to empty. This is a real help. It estimates how far you can drive with the fuel remaining in your tank under normal conditions. The function will display fuel level low when you have approximately 50 miles or 80 kilometers or less to empty. The setup menu controls your vehicle system check. It keeps track of units in either English or metric, gives you language choices, controls the easy entry, easy exit seat, and your reverse sensing system. Select system check and the message center will cycle through each of the systems being monitored. Pressing the reset control starts the process. The system check will include these systems and more. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. If your vehicle is equipped with Ford's multi-panel Vista roof, it uses an automatic one-touch express opening and closing feature. To stop motion at any time during the one-touch operation, simply press the control a second time. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information.
Your vehicle may be equipped with our windshield wiper rain lamp feature. When the windshield wipers are turned on during daylight and the headlamp control is in the auto lamp position, the exterior lamps will turn on after a brief delay and will remain on until the wipers are turned off. It gives you the added security of seeing and being seen better during a rainstorm. Your vehicle may be equipped with a rear view camera system that will let you see what's behind your vehicle and let you know how close the object is. An image will automatically display on your navigation system screen as soon as you put the vehicle into reverse gear. You'll notice a red zone, a yellow zone, and a green zone. Objects in the red zone are closest to your vehicle. Objects in the green zone are farther away. Objects are getting closer to your vehicle as they move from the green zone, through the yellow zone, and into the red zone. The rear view camera lens is located in the Ford Oval on the tailgate. Keep the lens clean so the video image is always clear and not distorted. You can do that with a lint-free cloth and non-abrasive cleaner. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. If by now you're getting an idea of just how smart your new vehicle is, you're getting the idea. Your vehicle is equipped with a reverse sensing system. It can even warn you if there is an object behind your vehicle that may be too low for you to see. The warning will be a tone that increases in frequency as the object gets closer. When the object is 10 inches or 25 centimeters away, the tone will sound continuously. The rear sensor is active only when the vehicle is in reverse gear and is sitting still or traveling at less than 3 miles per hour or 4.8 kilometers per hour. It covers an area up to 6 feet or 1.8 meters away from the rear end of the vehicle. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. What a cool feature this is. If your vehicle is equipped with active park assist, you have just mastered the difficult art of parallel parking. And it not only helps parallel park the car, it actually helps look for a parking space. No kidding. To initiate the active park assist while looking for an available parallel parking space on the street, press the active park assist control on the center console. This puts the system into active mode. The message center will display active park searching. If you're driving too fast for a parking space to be measured, the message center will display active park reduce speed. If you don't reduce the vehicle speed, active park assist will cancel itself after 30 seconds. You must press the control again to start the active park assist feature again. The message center displays active park searching while active park assist is active. Use the turn signal to designate what side of the street to search on. If the turn signal is not used, the system default is to search on the passenger side. The arrow symbols in the message center indicate which side of the vehicle Active Park Assist is searching. Each available parking space is scanned on both sides as you drive by them, but the system will only offer the ones that are available on the active side of the vehicle. The system will measure the available parking spaces and its surroundings as you drive by them to determine if the vehicle can be maneuvered into the spot. Once you have driven by a feasible space, the message center will display Space Found, Pull Forward, followed by a chime. If you want to park in the space, you should move forward until the message center displays Space Found, Stop, followed by a chime. When the vehicle is in position to begin the parking maneuver, the message center displays Remove Hands, Put in Reverse. The auto steer mode is activated by you once you have removed your hands from the steering wheel and put the gear shift into reverse gear. Are you ready? Here we go. The message center displays Back Up, Use Caution. You keep full control over the speed and braking of your vehicle, as well as the shifting from drive to reverse. You will also be assisted by the forward, if equipped, and reverse sensing system. When the vehicle is backed up far enough, you will hear a solid tone from the rear reverse sensing system. 
and the message center will display pull forward, use caution, followed by a chime. When you put the vehicle into drive position, the active park assist system will continue to control the steering so you can quickly move the vehicle into the parking space. When the vehicle has reached the targeted park position, Active Park Assist stops controlling the steering, and the message center displays Active Park Finished, followed by a chime. You, of course, are responsible to assess and correct as necessary the final parking position, including the distance from the bounding cars or parking meters. The system can be deactivated at any time by the following inputs from the driver. Pressing the Active Park Assist control switch, grabbing the steering wheel, opening any passenger door, deactivating the advanced track system, traveling above 18 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour for 30 consecutive seconds while searching for a parking space, or by exceeding 6 miles per hour or 10 kilometers per hour while the system has control over the steering wheel. The driver must grab the steering wheel as soon as the system has been deactivated. Refer to your owner's guide for complete details of the system operation and important safety information. Did you happen to notice that your new vehicle doesn't have a gas cap? No, you didn't lose it. Your vehicle comes with our new Easy Fuel Capless Fuel System. It allows you to just open the fuel filler door, insert the nozzle, and start fueling. Because of its unique one-way valve, the Easy Fuel system is self-sealing and protected against dust, dirt, water, snow, and ice. If the need arises to fill your fuel tank from a portable fuel container or gas can, you'll need to use the included fuel funnel. You'll find it attached to the rear of the spare tire compartment. Slowly insert the funnel into the Easy Fuel system and fill the tank with fuel from the container. When done, clean the funnel or properly dispose of it. Extra funnels can be purchased from your authorized Ford dealer. Just a note though, do not use aftermarket funnels or try to use the nozzle from a portable fuel container. They will not work with the Easy Fuel system and may damage it. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. Your new Ford Flex is one versatile vehicle. It will allow you to fold and tumble the second row seats to access the third row, or just give you some extra cargo space. Just lift the handle located on the side of the seat and you can fold the seat back flat. Then lift the handle all the way up until the seat releases from the floor. Rotate the seat forward to access the third row. To return the seat to the floor from the tumbled position, simply rotate the seat down until you hear it latching to the floor. Then, lift the seat back toward the rear of the vehicle until you hear a click locking it into the upright position. If your vehicle is equipped with power fold, one touch is all it takes. The control is located on the rear passenger side panel. To put the seats back up, follow the manual instructions. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. If your vehicle is equipped with heated seats, the controls for the driver and passenger seats in your new Flex are located with the rest of the climate controls. Press the control once to activate high heat. You'll see two indicator lights. Press again to activate low heat. You'll see one indicator light. Press once more to deactivate the system. Controls for the optional second row heated seats are located on the back of the front center console. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. If your vehicle is equipped with power front seats, locate the controls on the outboard side of the seat cushion. Use the seat cushion control to move the seat up and down or forward and backward. The seat back control moves the seat back forward or backward. The lumbar control can be adjusted to your specific comfort position. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information.
Your new vehicle is equipped with sensors to detect the presence of a passenger in the front seat. If it does detect the presence of a properly seated and buckled passenger, it will automatically arm the front seat passenger airbag. If the sensors detect small or medium-sized objects in the passenger seat, or a child's car seat or booster seat, it will automatically disarm the airbag. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details on the correct installation of child seats and other important safety information. Remember when I said your vehicle gets to know you? Well, here's another great example. If your new vehicle is equipped with our driving position memory feature, it will automatically adjust the driver's seat, exterior mirrors, and optional adjustable pedals to your preferences at the touch of a button on the driver's side door. In fact, it will remember the setting for two drivers. To program position one, move the driver's seat, exterior mirrors, and pedals to the desired positions. Press and hold control button one, located on the driver's side door, for at least two seconds. To program position 2, repeat the process using control button 2. You can also program your key fobs to one memory position each. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. Your vehicle may be equipped with a 110 volt power outlet. It's located in the back of the center front console. Simply lift the safety cap, partially insert a power plug, and gently twist the outlet face into position. This safety system provides protection from inserting any object other than the 110 volt AC electrical plug device. This outlet is perfect for powering a laptop or charging your cell phone. The vehicle must be running to use this feature. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. Your new vehicle may be equipped with an ambient lighting feature that could really set the mood. It allows you to illuminate footwells, cup holders, and more with a choice of a variety of colors. The control switch is located in the center console. To activate, press and release the control switch to cycle through the color choices. The lights will come on whenever the ignition is in the on or accessory position. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. Your new vehicle is equipped with a Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS. It measures pressure in your four road tires and sends the tire pressure readings to your vehicle. The low tire pressure warning lamp located in the instrument cluster will turn on if the pressure is significantly low in one or more of your tires. Once the light is illuminated, one or more of your tires are underinflated and need to be inflated to the manufacturer's recommended tire pressure. You can find that information on the sticker located on the inside edge of the driver's side door. Even if the light turns on for a short time and then turns off, your tire pressure still needs to be checked. Care must be taken when replacing a tire to avoid damage to the sensor. We recommend that you always have your tire serviced by an authorized Ford dealer. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. To operate the power windows in your new vehicle, simply press the control in to the first position and hold it there to open. To close the window, pull up on the switch to the first position and hold it there until the window is closed. You can also use the express up and down feature. For express open, press the switch down to the second position and release quickly. For express close, pull up on the switch to the second position and release quickly. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. Your new vehicle is equipped with a Select Shift Automatic Transmission. Select Shift Automatic is an automatic transmission with the ability to switch to a clutchless manual transmission feature 
that gives you the control you need for steep grades and mountainous driving situations. Just move the gear shift lever from the drive position to the manual position. You now have control of selecting the gear you desire using the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. To manually downshift the transmission, press the paddle shifters forward. To manually upshift the transmission, press the paddle shifters rearward. Refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. Your vehicle may be equipped with the convenience of a power liftgate. You can power open and close the liftgate using the key fob button, the button located on the instrument panel, or the button located in the rear cargo area. The outside liftgate control located on the liftgate handle will only open the liftgate. The power liftgate will only operate when the vehicle is in park. A warning chime will sound when the liftgate is about to close, and it will stop automatically and go back up if it senses something in the way. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. How cool is this? Your vehicle may be equipped with a second row center console refrigerator freezer unit. With the vehicle running, just press the switch to choose the cool or freeze mode. The blue indicator lights will show you which mode the unit is in. The feature will not work when the vehicle is in the ACC or accessories position. Please make sure the vehicle is running to use this cool feature. Please refer to your owner's guide for complete details and important safety information. We've designed our vehicles to be very fuel efficient, but to ensure optimum performance, here are some guidelines to follow. Your vehicle has been designed to improve fuel economy by reducing fuel usage while coasting or decelerating. This may be perceived as a light to medium braking sensation when removing your foot from the accelerator pedal. Aggressive driving, including speeding, rapid acceleration, and braking wastes fuel. It can lower your fuel mileage at highway speeds and around town. When accelerating, apply your foot to the accelerator gently, increasing speed slowly for maximum fuel economy. You can improve your fuel mileage by keeping your tires inflated to the proper pressure. Underinflated tires can lower fuel mileage, and properly inflated tires are safer and last longer. Using your speed control on open, flowing highways helps you to maintain a constant speed and, in most cases, will save fuel. Avoid keeping unnecessary items in your vehicle, especially heavy ones. In fact, one mile per gallon is lost for every 400 pounds of weight carried. Fuel mileage usually decreases rapidly at speeds above 60 miles per hour. Driving at 55 miles per hour uses 15% less fuel than driving at 65 miles per hour. Idling gets zero miles per gallon. Every minute of idling costs you fuel. You're truly going nowhere fast. Follow the recommended maintenance schedule and owner maintenance checks found in your scheduled maintenance guide. You can also improve your fuel mileage by using the manufacturer's recommended grade of motor oil. Also, look for motor oil that says energy conserving on the API performance symbol to be sure it contains friction reducing additives. If your vehicle is equipped with Ford's new EcoBoost engine, you're about to experience breakthrough technology that combines direct fuel injection and turbocharging for improved fuel economy and performance. Now, under certain circumstances, you may notice a different engine sound. This is normal for your direct injection turbocharged engine and may occur if your vehicle is idling while parked next to a wall, if you're standing outside the running vehicle, or in certain idle situations. This sound comes from the direct injector system, which is used to improve your vehicle's fuel economy and engine performance.